Hey, man. How's it going, man? You know what I mean? I like when it's yeah. even. <laughs> what do I need? Let's put a uh, swivel. No, we need like Floral. we need like 15 pound, 17 pound. That would work. That looks good. Let's do that. We're here at work, guys. We're uh, putting lion on spools here. Trav just bought a new rod, so he figured that included in the $150 cost, I would put the lion on the on the spool for him too. So I put some, uh, I put a nice eight pound backer on there for him, and then I put some uh, 15 pound braid. Now we're gonna put some 17 pound suffix on for a little leader, so he doesn't lose that big massive lake here on walleye. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, how's it going? <laughs> All right, Trav. I got your brand new $150 13 fishing intent GTS modified XP. Hey. Ready to go for you. Hey, uh, thanks, man. There's a lot of big walleyes out in Lake Huron, and uh, this is certified to really help you reel in those big girls. So I wish you luck. 150 bucks well spent, my friend. Thanks, Which man. No problem. I, I, well, I wish you the best. Squirt belt. So you guys, that's how you make a sale at a bait shop. <laughs> this is Bill, and this is Jeanette. They're the owners of Drummond Island Outfitters, which is the only sporting goods store on all of Drummond Island. Whether you're looking for live bait, tackle, maybe a new rod, or even a new pair of boots, they've really got it all. Right off of Channel Road or M134, about seven miles from the ferry boat, you'll drive by it wherever you go. Next time you're around, stop in and say hi. We'll be waiting. We made it to the bait shop. We're gonna go see what Bill's doing. He's probably not doing much. I can't imagine he's doing that much. I swear, whenever I show up to the shop, Bill's always not working. Yeah, look at him. Look at him just sitting on the phone. <laughs> Sometimes, I guess, you know, I forget that he makes business phone calls, so that's probably what Murphy. he's doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> this is the place to hang out, I'm telling you, man. Guys come in here, locals come in here, have coffee, everything's in here. I'm in charge of the shop now. This was a big mistake by Bill, really big mistake. I don't know why you leave a 19 year old punk to run your bait shop. I mean, that's a pretty, that's a high level of, you know, trust that I didn't feel we gained in the first week and a half of working there, but I got it, so we're gonna run with it. <laughs> so today was Bill's for daughter's first day at kindergarten. So they ran to get some ice cream and uh, he said, all right, I'll be gone for about a half hour. I said, okay, Bill. So we're uh, we're gonna try to do our best to try to run the bait shop here. And if I get a customer, I'm setting the camera up right here. They come in, you'll get to see the interaction. I was pretty nervous for when the first customer walked in. You know, I didn't want them to see the camera. I didn't want it to be awkward. It's already awkward because I don't know what I'm doing. See, there's some things I've learned how to do. I can do bait. I can give a couple fishing tips. I can, not, I can't fill propane. Um, usually I mess up on the license sales. We're getting PC Fun in the shop, PC Fun and Tybee, we're gonna deal out of the shop, new products. So we're going through the list of uh, items that we wanna get in the shop here. We're definitely getting the Carbon X in here. We're gonna get some waders in here, some boots from Tybee. Um, we're just gonna sprinkle stuff in here and see how it does, so that's exciting. We got a customer. Hello, buddy. How's it going? Good, how are you? How are you? Good. I need two bills of minnows and I forgot my minnow but so I gotta buy one. Okay, so we got so that little red one is only five bucks. You just want that one. It worked. Yeah. Out. yeah. Perfect. You want two dozen? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm from Wisconsin actually, but I'm working with Bill for about three months here. It's my third time actually up here, but uh Yeah, you said Bill said the perch are usually more towards the uh, end of the month, huh? Crawlers too. Yeah, sir. 1650 for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, bud. Yeah, have a good one. Doesn't crawl. Doesn't crawl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> we'll see you guys. We'll see you. Are you coming in? Bill brought back some cheese curds. <laughs>
just filmed that hole. Did you really? Oh my god. It's so perfect. <laughs> Alright, so it's 4 o'clock. We are done with the little shift here. Chase and I, which you can see right here, we're gonna go pike fishing tonight. Chase, can you hold the camera, bud? Yes. Let's show them what we're using here. So, the hot bait around here are these wobblers, they're called, right here. This color right here is good, right, Chase? Oh, yeah. The that's the color. Genuine, the gold color, and then we got, um, what's this color? Fire tiger. Fire tiger. We got fire tiger and gold we're gonna use tonight. Chase has some spots apparently where his dad's been doing good, fishing around islands a lot, um, and weed beds. And so we're gonna go out and cast these big spoons for pike and see how we do. Well, we made it about this far out here in the old 16 footer. <laughs> we're a little drenched tonight. Chase is up here just soaking wet. <laughs> we're rocking, we're rocking pretty good tonight. Uh, it's a little rough out here. Um, you know, we, we really just want to catch some pike, so we're trying to grind it out, but we are getting absolutely soaked. And I'm just trying to quarter them so we can get behind this island so we don't literally drown, but we're getting there. Everything's wet. Haven't taken any over the bow yet. Not quite. So that's, that's good, but we're gonna try to get up by this island here and see if we can get some pike. <laughs> Pike. So now what? Oh, we're gonna go for some walleye. Okay. Gonna go jig some rock piles, try to get some walleyes. You heard the man, we're gonna go hit some rock piles on the way in. I don't know, how many miles are we, would you say we are from the launch? Oh, couple, three? Yeah, three, four. Three, four miles. So it's still a little breezy out in, in the open lake, so we might have to, you know, get a little wet again, but uh, hopefully we can make it to our rock piles and get a couple of walleyes before the sun goes down. Beautiful night out here, just a little breezy. Yep. Let's do it. And then Chase and I, we went after walleyes, dude, and we just, we sucked again, you know. I caught a few per little tiny perch before we left, but uh, they weren't, you know, big, much bigger than the size of the fish in my mom's aquarium growing up. So it's, you know, it's, it's there's there's a lot of room to improve. Um, and we got smacked in the face with the walleye fishing that night too. So that was kind of, that was it. No, stop it, you're <laughs> sick. <laughs> get out, get out. <laughs> you're this, sick. This, see, this is normal. No one should eat chips that way. Why not, Bill? Listen here, America. Don't eat your chips that way. What'd you say, Screw up the roof of your mouth. Well, it was a successful day at work today. Uh, sales were up 43% because of me, so that's a good sign. Um, struggled yesterday, did well today. You know, that's part of the grind. That's part of running a bait shop. It's not easy. Nothing comes easy. You know, nothing worth having comes easy. Oh my so. God. We're gonna have the meat sweat so bad tomorrow. <laughs> Ridiculous. Bill, what? <laughs> Bill, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. It's just so out of pocket around here. Come on. Time for steak, bud. Thanks, Jeanette. You're welcome. Hmm. Shoot. Hey, everyone. Hey, How's man. Did you make steaks, Bill? Yeah, we did make steaks. What kind? Um, filet. <laughs> Is it zesty? No, this something wrong with that mm. oh probably because the broccoli is brown we're having a steak out <laughs> did you have it <laughs> don't eat out. that it is not good Steve, I've never put one on are you flossing mm -mm. you just oh, did 